One thing's for sure and two things for certain, this is one of the best research papers that I've read on ADHD to date. Learning so much more about ADHD is a polygenic disorder. It's lots of different genes that contribute to it and apparently lots of different cell types. Keep following me if you want to learn more about your ADHD brain. I'm so excited to share this information with you. Historically, we've been taught that it's a disorder of dopamine and norepinephrine, but we are learning so much more that there's even different cells, including astrocytes and glia that are involved in the neurodevelopmental process. And we are seeing differences between ADHD people and their neurotypical peers in terms of brain development. Glia and astrocytes are typically talked about as being like the cleanup crew of the brain, but this paper talks about how they are so much more than that. Involved in structural support, maintaining the blood-brain barrier, metabolic support. Because they play a critical role in our brain development after we're born, differences in maturation between our neurotypical peers and ADHD people is leading to things like attention and decision-making changes. The things that they're really important in are glutamate and GABA. These are like the on-off switches for our brain. Astrocytes are amazing. They'll form like a three-way synapse, remove glutamate, glutamate and GABA from the cleft to prevent cytotoxicity. In a polygenic disorder like ADHD, we see multiple different genes that are implicated in the way that astrocytes function being abnormal within people with ADHD. For example, this gene is involved in modulating astrocyte activation. It's implicated in things like Alzheimer's disease as well as being able to recover because it helps to maintain blood-brain barrier. And so if you can't do that properly, then you lead to more damage in cases of like ischemia, which would be like the loss of blood to a certain region when you have a stroke. Also involved in memory regulation, it can contribute to symptoms like hyperactivity, impulsivity, and attention, things like that. All this to say that ADHD is so much more complicated than we've previously understood. 